All right, next up, I've got a really fun demo for you. We're gonna talk about how to use AI to actually generate new Excel formulas based on descriptions that you provide. So in this case, we're gonna use some sample data here in Excel. As you can see, we've got a grocery list with items that live in cells B4 through B50. And our goal is to come up with two different calculations. The first, calculating the total number of items in the list, and the second, slightly more complicated, calculating the number of unique items only. Now, our goal is to see if ChatGPT can produce the exact formulas that we need to generate these two values. Let's give it a shot. So let's start with the count calculation. And even though it's quite simple, I still wanna be specific and deliberate with my prompt. So as you can see here, I'm gonna to try to set some context right up front and say, I'm managing a grocery list in Excel. Can you please write a formula to count the number of items in cells B4 through B50? And by specifying the exact cell range here, that's gonna maximize the chances that I get a valid and accurate formula in return. So let's go ahead and give this one a shot. It's gonna say certainly to count the number of items in B4 through B50, you can use the count A function. Here's the formula. Go ahead and copy it straight from the output here, drop it into Excel. And let's go ahead to E4, paste it straight from ChatGPT into the formula bar. And boom, we got a 47. So we can validate that number by selecting the items in our list. And right here in the footer, we can see the count is 47. So off to a good start. Now let's see if it can handle something a little bit more complicated and just give us the count of uniques. Now, before I jump back into ChatGPT, I wanna talk about a couple different ways that I would solve this problem independently, and then we can compare against the output that ChatGPT provides. So a couple different ways we could tackle this. We could take the brute force approach and then remove duplicates. That's gonna tell us there are 42 unique values remaining, or the approach that I typically prefer is using something like count A and unique and feeding it that exact same range, B4 through B50. I prefer this dynamic array approach. It's gonna give us that same answer of 42. So we know the value or the output that we need. Now let's see if ChatGPT can get the job done. Now, important note here, I'm not gonna create a new chat because I want to maintain the context and kind of treat this as an ongoing conversation. What that means is that I can add a prompt like this, Thanks, now can you write a formula to count the number of unique items in that list? And I can use natural language like that list because ChatGPT has the context. It understands that the list I'm referring to is B4 through B50 from my original prompt. So let's go ahead and enter that, see what we get back. It says, okay, you can use a combination of count and count if. Actually, this formula is a combination of sum and count if, but that's okay. Definitely a different approach than the dynamic array formula that we used, but let's go ahead and copy that and see if it does the trick. So here we go in cell E6. We're gonna paste the output right into the formula bar, press enter, and we get 42, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now, the only catch here is that this sum and count if approach is a little bit complicated. We're actually calculating these reciprocal values row by row, and then we're summing it all together. It's a little bit tricky to wrap your head around if you're not an expert Excel user, and it's even harder to communicate exactly what's happening here. So let's see if we can kind of nudge ChatGPT to use the dynamic array approach instead. So we could say something like, can you provide an example using a dynamic array formula and see what we get back? It's gonna say, certainly you can use unique and count A and check it out. That's the exact result that I had showed you earlier in the demo. And we know that's gonna produce the correct output of 42. But this is a good point to pause and remind yourself that you're gonna get potentially different responses every time you enter a new prompt, even if the prompt is identical. So I wanna try a test here and copy this prompt, paste it word for word one more time and see what we get. So check this out. At first glance, it looks like we got the exact same result, but in fact, we didn't. The first time we got a count A and unique formula, the second time we got a count and unique formula. And the risk is that if we copy this count version and overwrite the original formula that we had in Excel, you can see we're gonna get a zero back, which is obviously incorrect. Now, because I'm a relatively advanced Excel user, I've got a deep foundational skill set. I know why this is incorrect, and it's because the count function is designed to count numerical values, 
and the COUNTA function is designed to count text. So by simply changing the formula from COUNT to COUNTA, I get the accurate results of 42. But this brings up some important points. It's a great reminder why it's so critical to write specific and accurate prompts, and why it's still so important to have that fundamental understanding of what's going on, rather than blindly copying and pasting the outputs. So let's jump back into ChatGPT and see if we can rewrite the prompt to try to avoid these issues right out of the gate. So knowing what we know now, we could try a prompt that looks like this. Can you please write a dynamic array Excel formula to count the number of unique text values in cells B4 through B50? And hopefully that gets straight to the dynamic array solution, which it looks like it does. It's using count A, it's using unique, and in fact, in this case, it's actually adding a filter argument, which isn't entirely necessary, but it certainly couldn't hurt here. So again, good reminder of why prompt engineering is so important. And then the last thing I want to do here is take that exact prompt I just wrote and test this in BARD to compare and contrast the outputs. All right, so here we are in Google BARD. I'm going to paste that exact same prompt and see what we get in this case. So it's going to think for a bit and then come back and say, sure, here's the dynamic array Excel formula to count the number of unique text values. It gives me this code snippet, which, as you can probably tell, is just incorrect. It's not even the right syntax. And for good measure, we can try plugging it into Excel. And as you might expect, we get an error because this is not correct Excel formula syntax. So again, that's why I tend to prefer ChatGPT for Excel specific prompts. So again, you've got to really, really be careful when you're working with these AI tools. So to wrap it up with a few tips, again, be as specific as possible in your prompts. Make sure you include cell references, important context. That's going to help you generate accurate formulas. And then most importantly, I can't stress this enough, always validate the results and do a thorough QA. ChatGPT isn't always right, and that's why it's critical to build a strong foundational skill set with these tools like Excel and SQL and Power BI and so on, and use these AI tools as a supplement rather than a crutch. So overall, I think there's a ton of potential value in using ChatGPT for these types of cases, but as we've shown here, it can be very dangerous if you lack that foundational skill set or understanding, or if you fail to provide clear prompts or take the time to test and validate the outputs. So very powerful tool, but make sure to use it with caution. Hey there, if you like this video and you wanna learn more, check out our brand new free course, ChatGPT for Data Analytics. You can find it at mavenanalytics.io. We'll walk you through our best practices and some of the most interesting use cases for tools like Excel, Google Sheets, Power BI, SQL, and Python. It's a fun little course, and it's a great way to get up to speed in these new AI tools. I hope you'll check it out and let us know what you think.